Hey everyone, this is Joey Blight, and today I have a review for Psychonauts in the Rhombus of Ruin. Just rolls right off the tongue, doesn't it? So, like most PlayStation VR games, this one's kind of short, but it has a lot of good points and not very many bad points. I have never played a Psychonauts game before, so I'm not sure if they're all like this, but this one is kind of like an escape the room puzzle game. I would compare it a lot to the Batman VR game, or even more so, I Expect You to Die. It's like I Expect You to Die, but without the time limit though. So you have time to look around, look, find all the quirky things, like the squirrel in the overhead compartment. So when I said it was short, it's about as short as Batman, maybe a little shorter than I Expect You to Die. It took about an hour and a half to beat the whole story, and there was one part where I got kind of stuck on. The age range for this game is from 12 all the way up to adults. I think there's enough adult humor in it as well to keep anyone of any age interested in playing it. The graphics draw you in pretty well, and a common issue with PlayStation VR games is really far away things look really bad. And I think this game adapts to that, to where nothing in the distance looks horrible. And it was a really immersive game the whole way through. One other thing I liked about this game is it gets you immersed with the whole room. So you can look behind you. So you're not just limited to this like 60 degree angle in front of you. You're able to look around the entire room and kind of just absorb all this detail. Some of the bad points was, yeah, it's short, but that's almost with every VR game at the moment. One thing I noticed right away was, if you have a motion sickness problem, it's probably going to hit you on this game. Because every time you transfer from a character to another one, it does this swirly white thing, or swirly yellow thing, and it's kind of disorienting. But that's the only way you move forward so you're gonna be doing that a lot and I don't know that swirling vortex thing just kinda of messed with my head a little bit and I didn't get sick but I could definitely see someone that's susceptible to motion sickness it could happen to them one other downside is replayability is almost zero you can go back and play more chapters so if you're not sharing the PlayStation VR, it's going to be a one-time story, but I still think it's worth the money. I think the difficulty balance is okay in some spots. There's one spot that was just not clear enough that you can actually move this square as well. If you play it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It involves a fire. But most of the time, the difficulty is just too easy. But the story is what really kept me going through the whole thing. It was a really immersive story. It was fun to watch, fun to listen to all the funny little jokes. And I think it was well worth the $17.99 if you have PlayStation Plus. $19.99 for people that don't. So I like Batman a whole bunch. I like this one more than Batman. And I like this a lot more than I expect you to die. So I would recommend anyone to give this a shot especially if you have a spare $20. So, this is Joey Blight. Thank you all for watching. And don't forget to put a comment down below and let me know what you want to see next. If there's any PSVR games you want to see me play or review. And I'll catch you around next time. Perfect for my workout. I'm not ashamed.